Hey guys, welcome back. Well, today we're going to be doing a beginner's tutorial in Marvel's Designer 7.0. So if you ever need a textile, whether it's clothing or otherwise, for your scene, then check it out. All right, how to get started with Marvelous Designer 7.0. Well, there are a couple of ways we can do this. I can go into each and every button, feature, and option and explain what it does, but that will be pretty boring, okay? So instead, we're just gonna go and do something. Now, first, let me explain what the program is and how it works, okay? This is a simulation program, and although you have a 3D window on the left here, this is not a 3D program not in the sense that you have spheres and cubes and so forth. What you have are flat 2D objects like a rectangle and a circle. And on the left hand side here, they are represented on a 3D model. Now talking about that model, it's a simulation program where it allows you to create textile, um, you know, leather, denim, whatever, for an object that you have created or an object provided by the software. So let's say you created a couch in Maya and you want it covered with fabric. You would uh, export your couch as an OBJ. You would import it into Marvelous Designer, create texture, put it on your couch, and there you go. Now, um, because we don't have a couch, we're gonna use an avatar provided by Marvelous Designer. And in this case, we're going to load an avatar. That's what they are called in Marvelous Designer. So I'm gonna to go to File and we're gonna to go to uh, Add and select Avatar. Now, one of the most simple things to do is to create a dress for a character. So I'm gonna select a female character up here and we're gonna click on Open. Now, as we do that, it will be loaded. There you go. And this is a one of three default representations you can get for your avatar. And you can change them by going to this little icon here. You can go to the fully colored version, you can go to the wireframe version, or the, let's call it grayscale, okay? And we'll do that. Now, about this 3D view, uh, my right mouse will allow me to do this. My middle mouse scrolling will allow me to zoom in and out. And if I hold down my middle mouse, I can do this, okay? And that's basically all you need. All right, so now that we have that, let's create some clothing. So I'm gonna go into my right view here and uh, I get the option to start with a rectangle, a circle, or this one. And this one will allow me to draw points myself. Okay, so I'm gonna do that. So I'm gonna click on that and I'm gonna start uh, just above the shoulder, click once, click again, and then go down to the spline right there. I'm gonna hold on the shift key, which will give me a guideline. And I'm gonna click down here I'm gonna to continue to hold that because I wanna go straight to the left, click there. And then I'm gonna release the shift and I'm gonna go in and start to follow the contour of the body. And actually I don't want that many lines because it will become too complicated for a beginner course. Okay, so let's just uh, redo that for a sec. You need to keep that in mind of course. Okay, so I'm just gonna keep it really simple. And there you go, okay? And make sure you click in a way that there will be an opening for the arm to stick out, okay? Now, like you, uh, you can see, I only created one because it's symmetrical, so I want to copy it over. So with this guy selected, I'm gonna right click and go to symmetrical pattern. And when I do that, I can now click anywhere, for example here, and I will have two of them. Now, these two need to be sewn together, right? So how do you do that? Well, what I wanna do here is go up to my sewing machine, not the one on the left, but this one right here. And I'm gonna hover over, uh, yeah. Thank you, uh, Techie, sorry about that. I'm gonna hover over uh, the seam right here, click once, hover over this one and click again. As we do that, you see that now lines have been created between the two segments. And if I now were to simulate by hitting this arrow key, they would uh, be joined together and the whole thing would also fall straight down because of the gravity, because there's nothing holding up our clothing. I'll show you. It's sewn together and it's dropping. Now let's uh, reset that. I'm gonna click on this guy to reset. I'm gonna click on this guy to move him in a little bit, like so. And then I want a copy of the whole thing um, in the back. 
So I'm gonna click on this guy, shift click on that guy, hit control C to copy and control V to paste. I can now move over and you can see, although I'm moving this in my 2D view, once I start to move it here, it will remain in place here, okay? So I have that in place, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on one of these, and I'll get this gizmo that you will know if you know about 3D. I'm gonna move it in this direction, click on the red arrow to move in that direction. Have a look and make sure that I'm pretty much where I need to be. Blue to pull that in. And now I need to make sure that this is flipped over because this is the front and that's the front, okay? So I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna go to flip, uh, where do you go? Horizontally. There we go. Okay. So now that we have that, we need to start stitching that together, okay? I'll move the whole thing in a bit. And we can do the same thing here if you like. There we go. Okay, so let's start stitching. We're gonna go into our 2D view and I want the uh, textile to be connected over the shoulders, of course. So I'm gonna go to my sewing machine, this one right here, click on this shoulder and click on this shoulder and make sure it is not crossing. You can see it got straight lines, nothing is crossed over, so that's fine. Uh, we're gonna leave the opening for the arm, of course. We're gonna go from this guy to this guy from this one to this one, and from that one to that one. And you see we have lines everywhere, okay, cool. Now, let's simulate this, stitch the whole thing together. Now, the dress is white and so is the body, so I'm gonna change this to full color so you can see it better. And then I'm gonna go in and hit simulate, okay. Now you can see that it worked okay. We have some tiny, tiny issues. Cool thing is though that this is a grab hand as you can see. So I can go in and I can basically try to straighten that out, okay? Now I'm not sure where that is coming from. I think it's because of this hard point right there. So let's uh, see if we can fix that. I'm gonna go into edit. I'm gonna click on this right there and let's hit delete. And then I'm gonna go in and take the second symbol, take this edge, and I'm basically going to do this. All right, let's do the same at the other end. So we're gonna select this guy in selection mode, hit delete, and we're gonna take this guy There we go, all right? So now we need to stitch that together again. So we're gonna take this guy and this guy, and then let's hit simulate. There you go, much, much better, okay? So what if we want these openings under the arms to be uh, a bit higher, okay? Or smaller, if you will. We're gonna go in and we're gonna take this guy and shift select these, and we're gonna move them up. And hit simulate again, and there you go, tight fit. One more, let's say we want our uh, dress to be shorter. Go in there again, click, and shift click, and just left click and move that up. Don't move it apart, oops, sorry, yep, and there you go. So this is an extremely easy and fast way to get started, and um, let me know if you enjoyed this type of video. Uh, if you do, um, I'll make more, so let me know, okay? So hopefully uh, you enjoyed this. If you did, hit that like button, and if you wanna make sure you don't miss out on future videos, make sure you subscribe, okay? Well, thank you guys for watching, and see you guys next time, bye. Well, thanks for watching, and before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time. Bye.